What's up guys, Pippi Deed here and welcome to episode 32 of my road to Manchester City. We start off this episode by opening the packs that we get every single Sunday and we get absolutely nothing in. Except this time we did get a pretty decent pull right there. A 90 pace right back from La Liga Max. And uh, he actually goes for something when I listed him up. You'll see later on that uh, we do end up selling him. Same goes for this guy, my cone over here. Not a bad card. Uh, pace on players tends to make them sellable. And uh, he is a left mid Brazilian. So that should help a little bit too. So we go ahead and take a look at the trades. A bunch of David Luiz's are selling. And I think in we might have sold all of them uh, actually. Because he, his price actually went up to 3,000 coins. Uh, those two guys, we're going to list them up in a second. Our Irish players are also selling. We still have a few left. And actually we do still have a few David Luiz's left. So... We're so close to the 800k mark. We're at 784,000. And Aguero is just floating around that price. So if we're lucky in this episode, we will end up getting the second inform Sergio Aguero 90 rated card. And I am so excited for that. So hopefully we manage to do that. But before we can do that, we're going to go ahead and play our first game in Division 5 with the first city squad over here. And we come across this guy who's got a very, very, very strong side. A Bundesliga team over here with some very good players up top. And it was going to be a little bit of a tough game because uh, I'm not too sure if my defense can hold those uh, three guys up top. But uh, he would get the first chance of the game over here. Marco Royce with a great pass to Lewandowski. Luckily though, he hits the post not once but twice right there as we managed to get away without conceding. However, the play wasn't de dead there because Vidal does manage to regain possession right there. But uh, luckily, it all went well because we ended up getting a foul. And uh, in the 19th minute, we would get a chance over here. David Silva creating a play right there, gives it to Boney. Boney's going to run down the right, the left-hand side, crosses it into Ianacho. Ianacho with a great chance to make it 1-0, but Leno with an amazing save to keep him in the game right there. And it's still 0-0. Zero to zero. However, before the first half would end, De Bruyne would show that he has some nice passing too. Because he gives it to David Silva. David Silva to Iheanacho. A great play that ends up with nothing. I am not sure how the heck Iheanacho did not score that. He was literally two feet away from the goal. Easy header right there. And he ended up missing it. So a very, very... A uh, bad chance to miss right there from Iheanacho. And that wasn't actually his first chance. As you saw before, that was his second chance to get a goal. So unfortunately, we head into the half. 0-0. Zero to zero. Both teams were playing very well. This guy is a very good opponent. And it could really go either way at this point. Because we both created chances that could have ended up in goals. And we're just unlucky not to have gone in. However, Lewandowski would get things started in the second half right there. Once again, with a great volley right there. Unfortunately, he does hit the post for the third time in this game and once again we are luckily not conceding however De Bruyne gives another great pass to David Silva this time David Silva would have a chance to score unfortunately though with his left foot he didn't manage to finesse it Leno with another great save to keep him in the game and in the 63rd minute I said you know what it's time for a sub want to change things up a little bit I'm not really feeling the 4 one 2 one 2 so I went ahead put De Bruyne at camp took out David Silva for Navas Navas is going to bring in some pace Sterling at striker and we also went ahead and switched formation which is something I didn't do last episode when I brought on new guys. I switched to the 4 1 2 1 2 narrow so we can keep Fernandinho rather than sub him off while also bring on Yaya. So we have Fernandinho, Yaya, Navas at center mid, which you might find strange, but hopefully it does work out. And Sterling at striker. So hopefully that does change things up a little bit. But uh, unfortunately, it didn't have much of an effect because we ended up tying the game 0-0. A very, very tight game. That guy was very good. Uh, both defenses very strong and we didn't manage to break each other out. We did have a few good chances to score. Unfortunately, they didn't go into the back of the net. And Fernandinho and Hart would end up getting man of the match that game. So... A 0 0 tie, something we haven't seen too often in this series. Usually, when we tie, it's either 1 1, 2 2, but a 0 0 is not something we see that often. But that tie does not put us in a very good situation because we have two games left and we need six points. So, we lose or draw our next games and we will not 
get promoted to division four so that's a little bit nerve-wracking but uh we go ahead take a look at our trades two of our duns have sold for three thousand coins our david louises have officially all sold for three thousand coins no more david louises in our trade pile and the two guys that we packed earlier did sell for a few hundred coins but now for the big moment the moment we've all been waiting for the signing that you guys have been waiting to see properly more than anyone and that is Sergio Cuneguero. As you notice, we have 80,000 coins, and you're probably wondering, yeah, he definitely bought Aguero with that low coin total. And that we did. We went ahead, signed the big man, one of City's legends these days, scoring goals left, right, and center. My favorite player, and you might be saying, dude, you're Argentinian. How is Messi not your favorite player? Aguero takes the, spot, the cake for me because he's just such an amazing player at City, at Argentina. He doesn't do as great, but I still love him. We bought him for 750,000 coins, which is actually a pretty good deal because he's going for around 800,000, 770,000. So that was a pretty good deal right there on Aguero. And uh, we also went ahead and signed Yunal, or Yunal, I'm not too sure how to say his name. He recently came back on loan. So we go ahead, add both of those guys to the club, and we have officially completed the city team. There's no more players left to sign. Go ahead, check them off the checklist. And at this point, we're technically done with the series, but I wouldn't count my eggs before they hatch because City have a game coming up against Dynamo Kiev in the Champions League. And EA have been giving out man of the matches left, right, and center. So if City do get a result of that game, a win, or uh, even a draw might see us get a man of the match card for a City player. I can definitely see somebody who performs very well in that game getting an orange card. So hopefully it's not De Bruyne, Aguero, or nobody that can be too expensive. But knowing my luck, it'll probably end up being Aguero or De Bruyne or Yaya. Those guys that are going to cost a crap load of coins. So we'll see how that goes. So I wouldn't say the series is over right now because I'm sure we will get a man of the match card. And if we don't, we're definitely going to get a... Uh, uh, a team of the week card because uh, I don't really see City doing as bad as they are doing now forever but uh, we go into our second game over here and we come across this guy who's got a Premier League side but uh, oddly enough he has Hulk down the right wing I'm not too sure if he's on full chemistry right there it was a little bit of a strange de decision right there he easily could have gotten Willian and he would have still got that French not French Brazilian connection right there but uh, De Bruyne would get the game started over here Great pass from Yaya Torre right there to De Bruyne. And something I didn't mention before was that we're actually playing. We're actually starting the game off with the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. And De Bruyne is playing at the center mid spot despite being a right mid. And Sterling is not starting, which is something you guys are probably wondering, which is very weird. But uh, Aguero right there gets his debut goal. Something I really wanted to see from him because he is obviously one of my favorite players. He does end up getting his goal right there. Fernandinho with a pass to him and he finds the back of the net. And that's something we've really been missing, I feel, in this team. A clinical striker that can find the back of the net and get us goals. With Wilfred, Boney, and Ianacho, we just couldn't really get it in Division 5. But hopefully now with Aguero, 90 rate is such an amazing card. We can start to get more goals and play better. And we head into the second half with a 2-0 lead. Uh, feeling pretty confident. This guy is yet to get a shot on target. And I feel like we can get a win over here. And not too long after the second half started, we went ahead and made some subs took out Boney for Sterling because we need a burst of pace and that would be the only sub I made because the team was playing pretty amazingly. De Bruyne was playing amazing at uh, the center mid role. Yaya was playing good. Fernandinho was playing good. David Silva was playing good. So no need to sub off anyone. Things are going pretty well. Just looking to get a third goal over here. However, Ramsey would have a shot right there and Hart parries it away to his English teammate Wayne Rooney right there and he finds the back of the net. So a little bit of an annoying goal right there. How it deflects perfectly to Rooney and he finds the back of the net. But uh, we had to watch out because that was a crucial goal that got him back into the game. However, over here, Yaya Tor with a great pass to De Bruyne and De Bruyne on his left foot. What a finish from the Belgian man. Just showing that he's so much better 
in the midfield role than he is in the winger role. So, so glad to have played him there. We're going to continue playing him there. And if things work out, then great. If they don't, we'll try switching to a different formation, a different, a different formation, and see how things go until we find the formation that fits the team well. But for now, it looks like the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow is suiting De Bruyne well as he grabs himself his second goal right there. And in the 89th minute, David Silva would join the score sheet with a great fake shot piece of skill right there. And a great finish into the top left corner to find the back of the net. Gives us the 4-1 lead. And this game is pretty much done and dusted. However, we would get one last chance in the 90th minute. The ref did not want to blow the whistle to make it 5-1. Let's just take a quick look at that replay and we don't even get to see it really but uh in the 90th minute like i said the Bruyne over here to silva silva to yaya tora yaya tora to sterling sterling through on goal somehow manages to miss it. it goes for the rebound though and apparently pablo zavaleta ended up fouling him right there so not too sure how that was a penalty we look at it right there on the replay i can kind of see it a little bit unfortunately unfortunate to be honest for this guy but i I know it was Sterling that got fouled, and I normally give it to the guy who got fouled the penalty, but I really wanted the brain to complete his hat trick, and that he does. He steps up to the plate, finds the back of the net, and the right there, Kevin De Bruyne, probably the best game he's had so far for us, gets himself a third goal, completes his hat trick. And with that, we would win the game 5-1. So a pretty good game from the team playing way better than it has in the last few games and i'm starting to like how things are going with De Bruyne. aguero played a pretty well game so i'm looking forward to next games and our next game would actually be very crucial because if you guys remember we needed two games for promotion we ended up winning that game so we're just three points away with one game left can we get promoted to division four we'll just have to wait and see until the next episode anyways guys this has been episode 32 of my road to manchester city we completed the team my name is pippy deed and i'm out